So spontaneous bodily combustion, though rare, is usually the result of bad <sighs> dietary habits, as well as low self-esteem. It usually starts in the lower regions of the gluteus maximus. The most recent confirmed case involved a polar bear on the island of Svalbard who had come across a store of canned yeah. meats left there by explorers from the last century. There is a good picture of the event on page 106 of your textbooks. there. <laughs> well, I suppose it is nearly time. Uh, but first, your assignment. This week, I want you to explore the unknown. You can choose the topic, but whatever you do, find something completely inexplicable and peel back the layers of its secret until you find the truth. And keep it to a thousand words. Class dismissed. I don't know about you, but I can't explain much of what Mr. Edgar goes on about anyway. Anything I choose will be unknown. No, Janice, it's easy. When he asks for the assignments, we'll just say we've lost ours and can't explain where they've gone. He'll probably give us an A. Now you're talking. Josh, I hate it when you do that. Come on, Ellie, I was just teasing. <laughs> what sort of a friend would I be if I told everyone that you had a secret crush on Janice? A dead friend. Oh, Josh thinks he's so funny. Elliot loves Janice. Elliot loves Janice. Sure, make a joke out of it. Why don't you? <coughs> Elliot loves Janice. Elliot loves Janice. <coughs> oh, I need a break. <laughs> You poor dear. I'm so sorry. I was aiming for that rodent. Rodent? Yes, the pest. He's been infesting my beautiful library for years. He steals books to line his smelly nest, you know. What exactly are we talking about here? A mouse? A, a rat? Whoa! No, a flying squirrel. I should have guessed Creep School wouldn't have a nice normal rodent. Uh, read it, read it, saw the film, read it. Oh man, how am I supposed to do an assignment on the unknown anyway? As soon as I learn about it, it won't be unknown anymore. Having trouble finding what you want, Master Elliot? No, I just don't know what I'm looking for, that's all. Well. First, you need to decide which category you are interested in. Then it's easy. Thin books here, fat books here, unless they smell funny, in which case here. Pretty books are kept separately in case the others get jealous. Wet books here, dry books here, nervous books at the bottom, bullshit books at the top. Clear? Edgar says we have to do an assignment on the unknown. I need something really mysterious. Huh? Whoa! <gasps> That rodent will be the death of me! Who is that? That, Elliot, is old Professor Samsa, one of the most brilliant minds ever to have graced the walls of Creep School. Such a tragedy, all that polymorphism business. Holly, what? These are the last known study materials of Professor Gregory Samsa. Polymorphism is the holy grail of the scientific world. The ability to change your form to that of any other creature at will. Like turning yourself into an animal? <laughs> That's impossible. Professor Samsa didn't think so. He made it his life's work. Aha! This is it! This is the unknown! I haven't told you what happened to him yet. I got to know Professor Samsa quite well. He used to be in here all hours of the day and night, working on his great theory. He always said he was on the verge of a breakthrough, and one day he'd show the world how he could change from one creature to another. 
Wow! Did he really do it? No one knows. Right in the middle of his studies, Professor Samsa disappeared. Some say he ran away, ashamed of his failure after years of boasting. Others say, well, it's all a mystery to me anyway. Wait, that's perfect. I can study Professor Samsa's work. That can be my assignment. Come in. Hi, Josh. Hi, Elvira. I look up, but I'm on the highest score mission here. What can I do for you? What's a crush? A crush? What do you mean? Like when you said Elliot had a crush on Janice. Whoa, 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 whoa. When did you hear that? In class. You said Elliot had a secret crush on Janice. Shh! Stop saying that! You're not supposed to know! But I... Now I will think I've told everyone. Listen, Elvira, you've got to keep this to yourself. Nobody except me knows that Elliot has a crush on Jan. Ugh. Hi, Elliot! Mm, hi. Oh no, he heard! I know it! He must be crushed! Elliot hates me! There it is again! Crushed! So if polymorphism is the rearranging of cells into different organisms, then the professor must have found some way of stabilizing them. Fascinating! Hi, Elliot. I was just passing through. Thought I'd say hi. The only way you'd be passing through the library is if you'd been kidnapped. Can't I just hang out with my old friend in the library? That's what friends do, isn't it? Hang out? Friends like... us? Josh, I'm working. It'll have to wait. Why don't we go play in the dungeons? You love the dungeons. Josh! So, let's see how this polymorphism theory works. You want to play my game, guy? No! I get the message, dude. Josh! Josh! <laughs> He's never going to talk to me again. Going home, Master Elliot. You be sure to close the door after you now. Okay. Long. Uh, 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 yes, I've been going through Professor Samsa's notes all night. I'm so close, but I just can't quite crack it. Just like dear old Professor Samsa. He stopped sleeping after a while, too. It's like a great big jigsaw puzzle, and there's just one piece missing. Well, I never. It's been so many years since I've seen it. This 
is Professor Samsa's old fishing rod. Professor Samsa went fishing? Oh, yes. Whenever he was stuck on something, off he'd go down to the swamp in the forest. Maybe it helped him think. I don't know. But he always seemed happier when he came back. Hmm? Professor Samsa, what did you really do down here? Fishing for scrap metal? Ah, oh, this is a waste of time. Maybe Samsa was just a crackpot after all. Whoa! I've got a bite! Oh. <laughs> assignment. No. Good, neither are we. Want to come down to the kitchen and see if we can persuade Tony to give us some milk and cookies? Nah. Did Josh just turn down milk and cookies? I do believe he did. Come on then, Josh. Spill it. Huh? What's wrong? Oh, my best friend in the whole world hates me. That's all. Elliot? He's not capable of hating anyone. He thinks I betrayed him and now he hates me. Come on, how could you have betrayed Elliot? Okay, Josh. This is where you think up something really convincing on the spot. Um, I stole his shoes. Oh yeah, genius. That's stupid. Come on. Let's find Elliot and sort this out. But he's working in the library, and you know how he hates to be disturbed when he's working. Well, he was here all night. I don't know where he could have gone. Maybe we can find out. Polymorphism? Gesundheit. Do you want to find Elliot or not? I don't know what polythingism is, but whatever Elliot's got himself into, it's something to do with this Samsa guy. Professor Samsa, that was a very sad business. Such a genius, but his obsession got the better of him, I fear. You should have seen him near the end. He was like a madman. And did he do it? Did he change himself into an animal? Who knows? But he was a brilliant scientist. One thing's for sure, if he did do it, something must have gone wrong. Because one day, he just wandered down to the swamp and never came back. 
You mean he got, like, stuck as an animal? Forever? <sighs> With Professor Thamtha, anything's possible. He was a funny one. But you mustn't worry yourselves about such things. It was a long time ago, and it's not like it could ever happen again. Um. Uh. Elliot? Are you here, buddy? If Elliot's been getting into the sense of stuff, anything could have happened. Well, no one's seen him since last night. He couldn't have just disappeared. This is crazy. You can't just turn yourself into an animal. Samson thought he could. Maybe Elliot thought he could too. <gasps> huh? Josh might have stolen your shoes, but talk about overreacting. Don't worry, old buddy. We'll get you back to normal. Except we don't know how. Do we? We'll think of something. We have to. Look at this! Designs for laboratory! So? Well, do you see a lab around here? So Sam's a built a lab. Big deal. We still don't know where it is. Wait, what did Malcolm say? Samson never came back. From the swamp. polymorphism actually works. Huh? Don't worry, Elliot. As soon as we find out what you are doing down here, we'll figure out how to turn you back. Whew! This place stinks! <laughs> what was that? This must be it. This is Samsa's lab! See? Elliot recognizes it! <laughs> what a mess! It would take a miracle to get all this junk working again. Even if we knew how. Listen, buddy. I'm gonna be straight with you. I don't think we can ever get you back the way you were. But, you know, maybe it won't be so bad. Oh, yes! Think of all the fun you can have climbing trees and stuff! Uh, uh, yeah, and, um, eating nuts. You always love nuts, Elliot. That's right. So, you see, life's not so bad after all. And you are talking huh? to a squirrel. Why, exactly? You tried to turn yourself into an animal. Who do you think I am? Insane? You're doing weird experiments in a secret underground base, Elliot. Okay, fair enough. I did consider it. But then I found Professor Samsa. At least, I think I did. I was trying to turn him back. Guess I screwed that up big time. What's in here? Oh, that's... Don't 
worry, Elliot. He's probably just living in the sewers now. That's not a bad place for a spider. I guess you're right. There! Finished your new assignment, then? 1,000 words on the unknown world of interspecies relations. There's a chapter about squirrels you'd like. Ha ha. You know, the funny thing is, I think I made some real progress on cracking the transition back from animal to man. I guess it's just too dangerous to leave lying around, though. I was just wondering, Josh. You still didn't tell me what a crush is. Uh, shh. You know, when you said Elliot has a crush on Janice. Ugh. You what? I can explain. Come here. It's not what you think. <laughs> 